Chapter 1 Network Concepts Observe the following daily life examples. Watching cable TV, withdrawing money from ATMs, sending and receiving emails, booking railway or airline tickets, sending and receiving SMS through mobile, video conferencing between people at far off places. These services are provided by the collection of interconnected communicating devices, which makes a computer network. Computer networks have shrunk the world and brought people together. The Internet is an example of a computer network that spreads all across the world. The Internet is also referred to as the worldwide network of computers and it is growing at a rapid rate. Fact bit. Intranet is a private computer network restricted only to an organization. Extranet is a controlled private network that allows control access to an information source available on Internet. Networking A computer network consists of two or more computers that are linked in order to share resources such as printers to exchange files and allow communication. The creation of a network is known as networking. The computers in a network can communicate with each other as well as work independently. Each computer in a network is called a node. Advantages of networking Networking can be used for numerous services, both for companies and for individuals. Sharing resources A network allows users to share resources with others on the network such as printer, a modem, etc. It can also be software like a database application or programs like word processors, etc. Backup In networking, data is stored on the server. Backing up critical data becomes a simple process. Sharing programs Sometimes it is better to put programs that everyone uses on a shared disk rather than keeping separate. Central computer behaves like a server that controls the network holds network software and store files. Cost reduction. Networking lets you share the resources, that is printers, scanners, hard drives, etc. This results in less number of hardware equipments and reduces the cost. Efficiency. In networking, little time is required to transfer data from one place to another place. Hence, increases the efficiency. Communication. The biggest benefit, however, comes in the form of communication. Electronic mail, email, chatting and video conferencing and groupware applications. Types of networks Personal area network, PAN A PAN is a computer network organized around a person. It is used for communication between devices such as phones, personal digital assistants, printers and laptops that are in close proximity. Local Area Network LAN A LAN is a computer network that is limited to a local area such as a school or an office building. Cables, wires or low power radio waves, wireless are used for the connections in a LAN. Campus Area Network CAN A CAN is a computer network that connects multiple local area networks LAN in a limited geographical area. It can be set up by a college company, etc. Metropolitan Area Network, MAN A MAN is a computer network that usually covers a larger area than a LAN. Since it covers a city, it is called metropolitan. For example, a network that connects two offices in a city, a neighborhood area, etc. Wide Area Network, WAN A WAN is a computer network that spans a wide geographical area. A van may be spread across cities, countries and continents. A van is formed by connecting lands and mans. Computers or networks across long distances are usually connected with optical fiber cables, satellite radio links or microwave radio links. Networking Devices Various devices are used for setting up a wired computer network. Let us discuss a few devices that play a crucial role in a computer network. NIC Network Interface Card It is a hardware device that is attached to a computer to enable it to communicate over a network. 
The NIC has a ROM chip that contains a unique number which is the hardware address. This hardware address uniquely identifies a computer on the network. Nowadays, most of the PCs and laptops are equipped with an integrated NIC on its motherboard. Modem Modulator Demodulator It is an electronic device that converts the digital signals of a computer into an analog form, modulation, so that they can travel over a telephone line. At the destination, the receiving modem converts the analog signals back into their digital form, demodulation, so that the destination computer understands them. Hub or Switch A hub or switch is a device that is used to connect computers in a network. In a hub, when one computer sends data on the network, the hub simply forwards the packets to all the other computers connected to it. Networking Cables The cables are used to connect computers on a network with each other. Twisted Pair or Ethernet cable is most common type of media which consists four insulated pairs of wires twisted around each other. Network Topologies The layout pattern in which various computers are connected to one another to form a network is called network topology. The selection of topology for a network depends on the following factors. Cost, Flexibility, Reliability. The network topologies are categorized into the following basic types. Point to point. Point to point is the simplest form of network structure in which two nodes are directly connected to each other. Bus topology. In bus topology, all the computers are connected to a single cable called the bus. The transmission of data from any computer travels through the length of the bus in both the directions and can be received by all other computers on the network. The advantage of the bus topology is that it is quite easy to set up. However, one of the disadvantages of bus topology is that a network cannot function if there are breaks in the main cable. Ring topology In ring topology, each computer is connected to two other computers so as to form a closed ring-like structure. In this topology, data is transmitted in one direction only. The disadvantage of the ring network is that the breakdown of any one computer on a ring can disable the entire system or network. Star topology In star topology, all the computers are connected to a central computer or a central node. The data to be exchanged between any two computers passes through the central node. The breakdown of computers except the central node does not affect the function of the network. However, the failure of the central node disables the communication across the entire network. Tree topology Tree topology combines multiple star topologies together onto a bus. In this type of network, a cable failure in one of the star network will isolate only the workstation that is linked to the central computer of that star network, whereas all the other workstations will continue to function normally. Mesh Topology In mesh topology, every computer is connected to every other computer on the network. Full mesh topology is very expensive to implement. It is commonly used in wireless networks. Network Security Network security is a process of providing security at the boundaries of a network by keeping out unauthorized access and malwares. It means protecting data and resources from any unauthorized access. Network security covers a variety of computer networks, both public and private, that are used in everyday jobs, conducting transactions and communications among businesses, government agencies and individuals. Information and network security commonly refers to various dimensions known as CIA. Confidentiality, protection against unauthorized access. Integrity, protection against unauthorized modification. Authentication, identification of authorized user.